What's up soldiers? Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com vibes and up in the kitchen as usual. We're going deep, we're going old school. We're doing another one of grandma's recipe. This time we're doing what she called fried dry herrings. Now I think I may have done this before with smelts. This time we're doing it with herrings, the true to the Caribbean recipe crispy fried and at the end there you're gonna see me you know everybody's always complaining Chris you don't plate it you don't this is not this is not a restaurant you want thing plated <laughs> uh -uh. anyhow check caribbeanpod.com when when the recipe goes on there you will see it nice and fancy but then you get any thumbnail too but anyways I'm talking too much fry dry herrings according to the way grandma used to do it stay tuned following up this recipe I'll show you guys how to do Another recipe with these same fish. Iri, Iri. I've got two pounds of cleaned herrings. In another video, maybe on the Food FAQ channel, I will try to show you a recipe on how to clean them. All you're doing is pretty much scaling them, trimming the top fin off, the the back sort of tail, and you remove the, the well, pretty much the guts, right? And the gills and stuff like that. It's been sitting here. In some fresh lemon juice, the salt. We've got some Caribbean pepper sauce, any sort of hot sauce. If you want it spicy, it adds a nice little kick to it. My favorite curry powder, which is my blend. I am using some homemade Caribbean green seasoning. On CaribbeanPod.com, you'll be able to find that. And that is a combination. We've gone through this a few times. But if you're new, that is a combination of all the herbs along with seasoning peppers and garlic that we like using. We prepare it. We put it in a bottle in the fridge and have it for whenever we're doing fish or meat or vegetarian dishes. It goes well as a marinade. While there is garlic in there, I'm still going to go in with one clove of fresh garlic and some black pepper. So here we go, we're just going to get rid of the lemon, it's done its job, we've got a seed there, get rid of that, there's another way, real seed up in here boy. I'm going to go in with some salt, that curry powder, and that's going to give it a lovely flavor. We've got that Caribbean green seasoning. Of course we can't forget that homemade Caribbean pepper sauce and that is extremely hot that is the recipe that I made a while back the pineapple pepper sauce so you, I really encourage you to give that one a try got some fresh ground black pepper a nice dose of that and finally the clove of garlic all you would do after that is pretty much give it a good mix I would be very Gentle when when mixing this and let it marinate for about let me tell you a little close up. Let it oh camera, what are you doing? Let it marinate for about an hour. You don't need to go anything more than that. Now you notice the inside sort of pieces here. I will try to work some of that marinade into the belly of the fish. Give it a good mix, set it, let it do its thing for about an hour. Just quickly show you the little setup. So I have the seasoned and marinated um, fish there. A plate with about half a cup of all-purpose flour we're gonna dust it in there and into my big frying pan which is right now on a medium-high heat and I like using olive oil the reason being I find it adds a lovely flavor to the uh, end product the fried fish now here's the thing this is grandma's recipe very simple very to the point she never seasoned the flour so let me forget about Food Network and everything else you see on TV and the internet talking about season the flour, plain old flour, nothing else. Let the fish scream out. Let the fish, you know, we need that flavor and everything from the fish that we got here. And all you want to do is just a slight little dusting of that flour, nothing too heavy. And then away from you, boom, you're good to go. And I'm just shallow frying these. You wanted to deep fry them, you can certainly do that. That is totally up to you. And I'm not gonna crowd the pan, so maybe a couple more. And this is why I'm using a wide pot as well too, a wide pan. But just a quick little dusting of that flour. Shift some of these bad boys aside. You go in there. Ooh, we lost somebody's head going there. Clean boy. They've been on there for about four minutes now, and the whole idea is something 
what we call fry dry. So you want it dry and crispy. So if you want to keep it longer in there, you can certainly do that. Notice that lovely color that we're starting to get there. And that is what we're looking for. Even darker is fine as well too. So don't sweat it if it goes beyond the color that you're seeing here. I remember, as I said before, I am using heavy duty lighting. So it may come out, it may look a little bit pale, but I assure you it's nice and golden brown. The other thing I would recommend doing at this point is to get a plate with some paper towels and have it ready for when these come out of the oil here because we need to get some, rid of some of that extra oil. I'm just going to remove these now. They're nice and brown on all sides. Nice and crispy onto a paper towel. A wire rack, to be honest with you, would be better because then you won't get any sogginess from sitting in the paper towels. So I'm just going to go ahead now and do the second batch exactly like how we just did it. In total, it's taking about uh, seven minutes to get them nice and crispy. The shorty on the side here. Look at that lovely color. So this is all done now. But what I am going to do, this is a two-part series. I will show you what you can do, create a second recipe out of this, just the way grandma used to. And the whole theme here is traditional old school cooking, if you haven't uh, realized yet. But before we get to that recipe, grandma would make this and we would have it with dal and rice. Or, the easiest way to use this, you would get a couple slices of lime, not lemon, some wedges of lemon um, to serve it with. So your guests will be able to squeeze a little bit of lime on there. Well, I guess you can use lemon as well too. I'm old school Caribbean, so we use lime. Some pepper sauce on the side, and you would dip, dip, eat. That's it. The bones are very tiny in there. They're going to be eaten as well too. My Portuguese friends would know about this. My, my friends from Spain would know about this. Entire Caribbean would know about that. We just eat the entire fish there. Head and everything. I know some of they're getting tuned off by the head. But I'm telling you, it's real flavors in there. Fry, dry, hey, you can't go wrong. So stay tuned now for part two. Well, in a couple days that is. <laughs> for the next recipe, I'm going to show you guys how to do... A choker with this fish. Irie? Irie. What's up soldiers? Don't forget to click subscribe. If you've already clicked subscribe, hit that bell notification thing. I want to all you missing out on the new videos, man. Come on, click.